a nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. It's a nation. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Lorelai Suarez out here in the cold, and today we get to sit down and meet rookie defensive end Mario Edwards Jr. Mario, thank you for braving this weather with us thank here today. You. Thank you for having me. So you're the ripe old age of 21, mm -hmm. but in your short span, you've actually gotten to see lots of the country because you've moved from city to city. First Mississippi, living with your grandmother, then to Dallas when your dad got drafted to the Cowboys, Tampa Bay, Miami. What was it like growing up, moving city to city every year? Um, you know, you you had different friends and things like that, just moving uh, with my dad and things like that. But I continued to play sports, so that was a good thing. But definitely, you know, uh, the hardest part was probably, you know, keeping good friends. And which cities did you enjoy the most growing uh, up? My favorite two cities would probably be Texas and uh, Miami. Texas just because it's laid back and you can raise a family. And um, Miami because it's more to do and a little more faster. And, uh, there's more things to do as far as with you and your friends. Play 60, we always talk about it on this show. Great NFL initiative. Your rookie year, you get to be involved. What are some of the things you've appreciated most about being part of that program this year? Um, just being able to, you know, give back to the kids. You know, growing up where I grew up in Mississippi, you know, not too many people came back and did things for us around the neighborhood. So for me to be able to go out and, you know, throw a ball with a kid or, you know, do certain drills that we do up here on the pro level, I know definitely made their day. You are quite the accomplished high school athlete. You played football, basketball, track and field. Mm -hmm. You were a high school All-American and named Defensive Player of the Year by USA Today. But you still had demands in the classroom. Yeah. How did you balance the demands of the classroom with the demands of the field? Um, really was just, you know, I knew um, there's things that you don't want to do, but in order to do things that you want to do, you have to do those things you don't want to do. And um, I'm not going to sit here and say I just love school, but I knew <laughs> that without school I couldn't play football, which is what I love to do. So, you know, I had to balance them out. You share more than just a name with your father. Both elite defensive athletes, both won national championships with the Florida Seminoles, and now you both have NFL on your resume. What are some of the lessons you learned from your father about being a collegiate athlete and a professional NFL player? Um, the, the biggest things were just knowing leaving college, you're on a four-year scholarship, and coming into the NFL is no longer a scholarship. You know, you could be here today and go on tomorrow, and it's all about you know producing. If you're not producing, then they'll get somebody in here that will. Now you're in the silver and black, and it's a much different team this year than years past. What's it been like for you playing in this environment, in a positive environment, with a team that's moving in the right direction? Uh, it's been great. You know, um, I wasn't around, you know, whenever Oakland wasn't too good. Um, I'm coming from programs that are used to winning, so I'm used to winning, and we're coming along, and we're bonding together as a team and starting to put games together, so it feels good to be a part of it. Okay, one last question. Um, Oakland Raider fans have got to be the most loyal fans in the NFL. What's it been like for you getting to play in front of that type of crowd? Uh, it's been great and an honor, man. Uh, you know, just watching NFL Network and seeing the guys with the spiked shoulder pads and painted face and to actually run out of the tunnel and see that they're actually right there, just as crazy they're as they real. are on TV. Uh, it's definitely an honor to play again with them. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with us today. I know you have to get ready for the game. Um, until next time, this has been Lorelai Suarez with Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. Thanks for tuning in.